do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have something a little different. So, I heard about this on social media, and uh, I actually found this video, but it's basically this teacher who's apparently is cur curvilicious, they said, this is what the title says. She's curvilicious, you know what I'm saying? She has a body or whatever, and she's she's like a, I think she's a kindergarten teacher or something like that, and the, t and the, and the parents want her fired because they say that it's a distraction or she's too overly sexualized or something like that. I don't freaking know. Now, personally, right, thinking about it, you know what I'm saying? It's like the kids probably enjoy it, right? But at the same time, it probably is a distraction. It depends. I don't know what she looks like. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how much she did. I don't know if she overdid it and got a bunch of surgery and now she walked around like a freaking ant looking stupid. Or if she just like looks regular, but she just curvy. You know what I'm saying? She probably got, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm, we going to see what the heck going on here. But it, 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 the kids, the kids like it. They, they, I don't think the kids have a problem with it. I'm not going to lie to you. The parents, mostly probably the, the women parents probably don't like it because the fathers actually show up for the, the the teacher parent conferences, which is weird because they never want to do that when it's the ugly, ugly, uh, ugly other girl. You know what I'm saying? But um, we finna watch this, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. How would y'all feel if y'all if y'all kid had like a super super fire teacher? You know what I'm saying? It, it, what, it, what would you do? Would you would you tell them to fire that girl? Would you try and switch the the classes or whatever like that? Y'all let me know in the comments down below. But if you're excited for this video, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to running. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. And before we hop into the video, I'm not wearing one right now, but you can copy yourself a Jurag. You can buy two and three free or you can bundle up and save yourself fifty dollars. And without further ado, man, let's get into it. This in Jersey. This is my hometown. Okay, Jersey. Finally making it on the news. She overdid it. She's over. She she's overdid it. it. This at some point it's just too much. And it's too much. And I only saw one clip, but it's it's too much. I tell you that much. New Jersey art teacher response. She's she looks stupid. She these is board ape yacht club thingies. Hold on. But is this her? Is this how she walks around her classroom? Like is this her classroom? Is this her? classroom right here like is this what she does in her classroom and who's recording this she got the little kids recording this like yo i need to make this instagram picture hold this the, the kid don't even know how to spell his abcs and it's over here holding the phone don't know what the heck going on it's not even looking at nothing you know what i'm saying wait what? new jersey art teacher responds to parents wanting her removed for being curvaceous all right so Oh, I guess this is her response video? I ain't know. I guess this whole thing is like her response video. I ain't know if this was like a breaking down, whatever the heck. All right, let's see what she's saying. Let's let's see what she's... I didn't even know what this was, but okay. I'm going to address this on live real quick. Um, Hey, Malcolm is back. Hey, Malcolm, thank you for the badges. I'm going to address this quick. I don't think I'm going to be on live too long. I do have... A lot to do today I gotta go shopping and buy um I gotta buy some more stuff for my classroom because I didn't finish I you don't gotta worry about that you don't have to worry about your classroom no more you don't gotta worry about that no more actually didn't even start setting up my classroom I just took a quick look at it and kind of like turned around because it looked a little chaotic um so I gotta go I gotta go shopping to buy some new supplies for my classroom and Figure out what I'm going to do on the first day of school, like fun activities for more importantly for my kindergartners because it's their first time in school period ever in life. So I have to get some stuff together for the kindergartners. Sky bro, I don't care about these ads. I'm trying to hear the story. Let me skip this thing. Hurry up, bro. Come on. For sure. And um, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And for everybody else. But I'm really, really. Whoever made this video just just subtly put in that. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> really concerned for the babies because it's their first time. You want to make them comfortable. You want to make them we don't feel care about safe none of this. and let them know that it's going to be a fun environment and they're going to make friends and all that good stuff. Now, only one thing, one thing out of everything that's going on in my 
super cluttered, crazy existence of a life is one thing I want to address is the mothers, the mothers, okay, at my school, at my specific school, meaning the one that I am an actual teacher at. Some of those mothers are legit my biggest, biggest, I mean biggest supporters. Like biggest supporters. You understand me? I got to say this again. The mothers from the county and community for the school that I work for are some of my biggest supporters. Okay? I, I have seen some of these moms, and I'm talking about like some of the kindergartners moms from last year, fifth grade, uh, some of my old sixth graders, third grade, second grade. These moms have been under these like reports and these tabloids and these blog and gossip pages defending my honor without me having to say a peep, without me having to say a word, without me having to do anything because... I work at my job. What do I look like arguing with people about my physical appearance? It is so scary and mind-boggling to me that this is really a thing, you know? And I'm not going to lie. At first, I thought it was so funny. I did. I thought it was so funny. I was, like, reposting everything. And I'm like, oh, God, 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 God. this is like a... It's kind of not funny. I'll go into it more later, but no, not right now, because it's like, it's, you know, getting to me a little bit, and it's not funny. Uh-huh. But I want to emphasize this part again. Some of the mothers at my school, my community, the place that I'm teaching at, are really my biggest supporters. Um, some of the people really going in for me. Uh, they write letters into my job thanking my bosses for my existence. She's pissed me off the way she's talking, but I guess she sounds maybe, okay, maybe it's not right to just dismiss somebody because they did all that. Of course, teachers have their life outside of just teaching kids, so she obviously wanted to get all that surgery and all that. But then, like I said, it can still be a distraction, but at the same time, that doesn't mean that she's not a good teacher. So it seems like she, well, I don't know if she's a good teacher yet. I don't know, but I'm, I don't think she's just, I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know what's happening. And it's crazy and it's scary. And sometimes it's funny, but majority of the time it's kind of scary. Um, scared but her. yeah, I want to, I want to give a shout out to all the moms who really, really, really have my back, especially the ones at my school. Like what? <sighs> I am scared, baby. Cause I don't know what's going on in the world. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Good morning to everybody. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the badges. For those of you who got some badges right now, I'm definitely, so I had said that I'm using the badges to put towards my nonprofit, the nonprofit that I've been working on all year long uh, for art therapy and the students. Hey, Rob Verb 85, thank you for the badges. But I think that all the badges that I collect today, I'm gonna use towards getting the supplies for my classroom that I don't have. So our school provides a lot of the stuff that we need, but it's like, if we want anything extra, like, um, I want a star chart this year. Uh oh, dismiss the filter. I want a star chart this year. I did it my first year and a half. Bro, we don't care about none of the star charts. I'm trying to see. Here we actually went back into school. I didn't have the star. But I don't care about it. I'm trying to see. What, what Do you think you're a good teacher or not? I'm trying to. What do you mean? Star chart. I'll explain every attitude and thanks to everyone that has my back. Because it's a, like an amazing abundance of human beings that have my back. People that I've never met, people that are they're on the other side of the world, in Africa, in Colombia, in Argentina, India, Dubai, like, hello, todo el mundo. Thank you for the love and support. Cause wow, it's, um, I don't know, it's overwhelming and it's, 
it's amazing to know that little me living in, you know, still living in the hood, still teaching in the school that I teach at, <laughs> going from doing like the things that I used to do, influencing heavy and doing other things to really going to what I love, which is teaching and, and concentrating on it and knowing that I got this insane amount of support. You know what's crazy to me? And this is kind of, this is off topic, but... And there's no hate to nobody that does this. It just doesn't make sense to me personally. I don't think it makes sense to anybody overall. But these shorties be having getting their bodies done. And if y'all ain't know, getting your body done is not cheap. It's not a couple hundred dollars. It's a couple thousand dollars, you know what I'm saying? Especially a bunch of different things. She got lip fillers. She looks like she got her stomach, her butt, her taze, her legs, her, whatever the heck she got. She got a bunch of stuff done. I'm saying all this to say she spent mad bread. But she just saying here that she's still living in the hood. Like, why? 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 What? That's like you driving a Lamborghini living in the projects. Like, yeah, you got a Lamborghini, but you going home and you got to park your Lamborghini five blocks up because you don't want somebody to break into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you had all that money to put into your body and all that that you couldn't use to put yourself in a better situation. Now, do whatever the heck you want to do with your money. I don't care what anybody does with their money. But that, that just be crazy to me because, you know, you see, me, you see people be walking around. You know what I'm saying? And they just be fully decked out, got their whole body done, you know what I'm saying? Wearing all the whatevers. And then they walking home. First of all, walking home to the to they to they house in the projects. You know what I'm saying? No, no problem with being in there, but it's like you spending your money on the wrong things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't I don't understand that. I don't I never got that. But anyway, do what you want to do with your own money. You work for it, right? Around the globe. Globe. Not here. Not in my town. Even though I did go to Wawa yesterday to get a smoothie and somebody was like, oh my God, hello, art teacher. Congrats on your success. <laughs> Don't worry about the hint. I was like, oh my God, you know me? Huh? I feel like when people recognize me, I get more excited than the people <laughs> that are talking to me. I'm like, oh my God, you know me. Take a picture with me. Like I'll ask them for a picture, you know? So it's humbling and it's amazing. And it's a good feeling to know that when you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing to the T and you're really doing a good job and you're 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 living in your truth and you're <laughs> you're expanding on becoming this woman that you want to be which is everything that I'm doing I'm just working every day to be a good example for mine for my family and for my students too and for my little ones like and knowing that People, not not the haters, not the mean ones that don't care, but people really see that and really support you, show you love. Um, I don't know, defend your honor, <laughs> which is uh, hilarious to me. Uh, no limit, dot Ruben. Thank you for the badge. Um, yeah, it's just it's a it's an overwhelming amazing feeling i've had a few people that they're like oh my god they and keep sending me like some of the negative stuff and i'm like i'm receiving so much positive feedback i am so happy i'm still a teacher i'm still at work i'm still living in my truth i'm still highly favored like no, I'm really excited for the way my life is going. I am. I'm very happy. I'm super happy. Ugh. Guaus. She not saying. Anyway, I'm gonna try to read some. Uh... She not talking about a single thing. Please. No, no, no kid is sitting in my classroom thinking that stuff. Wait, what? Bro, I'm a teacher. What are you doing? I teach babies. No, no, no kid is sitting in my classroom thinking that stuff. <laughs> so, like, what are you talking about? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. I really, she did not talk about a single thing in her freaking life. All she was saying is, I'm just grateful and positive vibes and blah, 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 blah. why she ain't talk about oh i'm a great teacher you know what i'm saying i love the kids i love all that well i guess she did say that she said that's, that's her passion and her purpose hey listen i'm not one to hate on a single person do whatever the heck you want to do me personally like i i kind of stick to what i said inside the beginning at, 
I'm not saying that she can't be a good teacher because of all that stuff that's going on with her and all that, you know what I'm saying? But it's just a distraction, kind of. But it also is kindergarten. How old are kindergartners? I don't even know. Do they even be thinking anything? Or they just be like, nap time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't even know how old freaking kindergartners are. So I don't know if they like fully there mentally to be like, that's a, you know, and those is, you, you know, you're like, I, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. <sighs> She's still a teacher, though. So her principal obviously want her. If I said it, everybody else was thinking it. Her principal obviously wants her. That's all I'm saying. The brother. Anyways, man, that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below, bro. Would y'all let y'all kid be in her class? Would you send your kid? I know a lot of y'all little little freaky deep dudes would send y'all kids to her class just so you can go there and pick your kid up early, 50 minutes early every single day. Talking about, hey, Miss Parker. Come on now. But realistically, would you send your kid there versus another teacher? Yeah, let me know in the comments down below. But that's really about it. I'm going to see y'all. Out. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.